ever pondered about where the line should be drawn between the media's freedom of expression and an individual's right to privacy. In our modern world, where digital information is as accessible as it is vulnerable, this question has become more pertinent than ever. One saga that has captured global attention is Prince Harry's legal battle against the Mirror Group newspapers. A tale that echoes David versus Goliath, with the Duke of Sussex standing tall against a media giant known for its invasive practices. This isn't just a personal feud, it's a crusade against long-standing privacy intrusions that have haunted not just Harry, but the entire royal family. So, what's the crux of it all? The Duke accused the Mirror Group of illegally hacking his phone, leading to a court ruling in his favor. The evidence? 15 articles that bore the unmistakable mark of information obtained through phone hacking. The saga doesn't end with the hacking. It also includes blagging and the unlawful hiring of private investigators, painting a grim picture of journalistic practices gone haywire. The result? A legal victory for our dashing Duke, marking a significant chapter in the fight for privacy rights. As we delve deeper, we find ourselves in a narrative that reads more like a thriller novel than a court proceeding. The Duke of Sussex, armed with the might of the legal system, took on the media giant, initiating a landmark battle for privacy rights. The saga that unfolded was more akin to a thriller novel than a court proceeding. The unfolding narrative was a testament to Prince Harry's steadfast determination, which culminated in a significant victory over the Mirror Group newspapers, or MGN. The key events leading up to this victory are as intriguing as they are significant. At the heart of the dispute were 15 articles, the contents of which, the judge found, provided irrefutable evidence of phone hacking. This unlawful invasion of privacy carried out by the Mirror Group was not an isolated occurrence, but a habitual practice further tarnished by a cover-up within the media conglomerate. The judge's ruling in favor of Prince Harry was a momentous event, echoing far beyond the confines of the courtroom. The awarded damages, a hefty sum of $140,600, were a tangible acknowledgement of the extent of MGN's transgressions. Yet, this figure was but the tip of the iceberg, an interim payment in what promised to be a comprehensive compensation package reflective of the scale of MGN's criminal behavior. The extent of the unlawful practices within the Mirror Group laid bare a grim picture of journalistic ethics gone awry. Phone hacking, blagging, and the unscrupulous employment of private investigators were tactics used with alarming regularity casting a long shadow over the organization's reputation. Yet, within this shadow, Prince Harry's victory shone brightly. It was a personal triumph, certainly, but its significance extended far beyond the Duke of Sussex himself. It was a resounding message to the press at large, a stern reminder of the gravity of privacy invasion, and a testament to the lengths individuals will go to protect their rights. This victory was not just a personal triumph for Prince Harry, but a resounding message to the press at large. A message that privacy is not a privilege to be trampled upon, but a right to be respected. A right that, when violated, will be defended with the full might of the legal system. With this victory, Prince Harry did not just secure justice for himself, but also lit a beacon for others in the crosshairs of unscrupulous journalistic practices. This victory is more than a personal triumph. It's a resounding message to the press at large. The implications of Prince Harry's victory are far-reaching. It underscores the gravity of privacy invasion, a prevalent issue in the age of digital media. The courtroom battle and the subsequent victory highlight the lengths to which individuals, irrespective of their public stature, will go to protect their rights. It's a grim reminder that privacy is not a privilege, but a fundamental right one that deserves respect and protection. This landmark judgment might well set a precedent for future cases. The backdrop of phone hacking, blagging, and the unlawful employment of private investigators paints a grim picture of journalistic practices run amok. But this legal victory, this beacon of hope, signals that such practices will not go unchallenged. It's a stern warning to those who might think to exploit their power and position at the expense of privacy. The potential impact on the relationship between the press and public figures cannot be understated. For too long, the lines have been blurred, with the press often overstepping their boundaries under the guise of public interest. 
This victory serves as a potent reminder of the need for accountability and ethics in journalism. It's a call for change, a call for a more respectful and responsible approach to reporting on the lives of public figures. As we watch the saga of the Sussexes continue to unfold, we can't help but admire Prince Harry's tenacity and the strategic acumen with which he has navigated these treacherous waters. He's not just fighting for his rights, but for the rights of others who may find themselves victims of similar invasive practices. His actions have sparked a conversation, a much needed dialogue about the delicate balance between public interest and personal privacy. In this modern day David versus Goliath battle, Prince Harry has emerged victorious with the legal system as his slingshot and the media conglomerate as his Goliath. It's a victory that resonates beyond the courtroom, a victory that mirrors the strength of his resolve and the depth of his courage. Bravo, Harry, bravo indeed. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video, The Sussex Saga, a royal ballet across the Atlantic.